Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Titus, Mid Valley Mercenaries. If you guys haven't subscribed, subscribe to the channel. I don't say it a lot, I should say it more, but you guys won't regret it. So I'm out here, solo kayak hunt down the river, and we've, I've been here before. Uh, you've seen some of those videos. I've flipped over, got soaking wet, didn't shoot nothing. I've come out here, shot honkers with Travis. I've come out here, shot a lot of wood ducks with Thomas. So you never know what the river's gonna do, but I tell you what, it always wants to take something. But if you plan properly, I truly believe that you won't lose anything or just have something happen. But before I get rolling in the river today, I did want to show you guys my setup, what I use, things to help you guys out if you guys ever want to go down the river. I know for some reason, a ton of people love kayak hunts and videos, even if it's not even that good. So I don't know what it is that people, maybe it's more relatable. Maybe more of you guys have that opportunity. I don't know, but let's get right into it and show you guys what I got. So I got the old town and uh, we've been working with them for a couple years and I really, really liked them. This is a hybrid canoe kayak mix. And uh, there's so many things I like about this one. This is actually the Discovery 119 Solo Sportsman. First off, I'm just gonna make it real quick. But the handles, they got this carrying handles in the front and back. And when you go with two guys, it's awesome. Cause if you're carrying two kayaks, it makes it so much easier. Like I'll grab both fronts of my kayak and Thomas's or whoever's with me. And then someone will grab the back of those two. And you can take two kayaks so much easier than just carrying one by yourself. But regardless, they're super light. I got the Carlisle paddles and they're pull apart. I'm sure most are, but it's nice for traveling. I leave them in there. They don't go flying out like when I'm driving to the spot. I also got the Old Town. And this is something that was never really good at wearing, but I got the Old Town um, vest. And I'll show you that on me in a little bit, but it's for hunting and fishing. But anyways, it's got a lot of pouches a lot of stuff to put you can put shells in you can put there's other stuff on here for hooks when you're fishing which actually goes right there it's like a stick on and then just a lot of pouches and vest and the one thing i like about this one the most and, and why we even wear it uh, faithfully is the fact that the padding for the flotation device is basically at the belly button line so when you throw your gun up you're not throwing it against the vest and throwing your shooting off it's just really like you don't even notice it's there honestly i really like it another thing i really like is the adjustable pedals and it's quick you just pull this out and you can adjust it backward or forward so it's so convenient honestly the easier you can make things in a kayak the better another thing is you got the rail and i'll probably be putting my gopro maybe right here i don't really want it in my way i might stick it up there but I got a mount that I can clip it to and have one face me and then I'll wear one on my head. Got a cup holder here in the seat and then the, the backrest can fold down for travel. But what's really cool about the backrest, sometimes you like it way back, sometimes people like it forward, but you got this on the right side that you can pull this out and you can adjust your seat and how far you want to lean back. If you want it straight up 90 degrees or if you want it to lean back more. I always kind of go with a little bit lean back and then it locks in place, you just push that in and then it won't move on you. Pretty slick. It's got pole holders for your fishing rods if you want, if you're going fishing. Both sides, you put other things there too, other attachments, but anyways, it's 11 foot nine inches, so because the 119, and it's perfect. It's great for hunting. So a couple other tips, dry bag, that's a huge must. And if you roll these up properly, they'll seal and they'll be full of air. You know, even if it falls in the water, you're gonna have no issues. And then of course I got my 12 gauge. I'm gonna be shooting heavy hammer today, which has a little bit 15% bismuth in it. Got a couple snacks and I think that's it. That I, I, I tell you guys kind of my setup. It's pretty simple. Like I said, some snacks, some drinks, and I'm gonna get started. I don't like coming right at first light because it's hard to see. And it seemed like there wasn't as much bird movement as I came in the past. So anyways, I've done enough talking. Just wanted to show you guys my kayak setup. I've, I don't think I've ever done that. Let's get started. snapped a fishing rod right back there in that corner. <sighs> okay guys, that's that's a good sign. 
that there's ducks near right now. That means nobody's come down this river yet. One of the biggest issues going down the river is someone if someone's in front of you, you might you're just wasting your time. So I just seen four wood ducks, two drakes, two hens. The problem was when I came around the corner, I was way too far away to shoot. If it was a sharp tight corner, I could have shot them easy. They didn't even they're not super spooked right now. And they didn't fly as soon as they see me. So that means they haven't been getting much pressure down here. That or these are fresh birds. So that's a good thing because usually I don't see wood ducks here. Usually it's it's farther down the river. Got him. <laughs> yes. I never see wood ducks do that. I cannot believe they just flew right at me. Oh, that's gonna be that is gonna be fun to get. It's deep right here, and that is a wall. I know. How deep this is. No steady way. back down he fell a hit up here and he must have rolled back down still in the high water mark boys yes it's a nice one dude. I crushed him nice there he is But I love wood ducks. Some of the most majestic and beautiful, and also some of the best tasting. I have never, ever, I don't think, had a wood duck fly right at me like that. I mean, I knew he was gonna flare. Those was a different group. I, I've jumped six so far, and those all sent came out because they they get up in this thick stuff right here, and you don't know they're there, and unless they're calling, you're kind of hosed. And that's what's nice is some when they're real active and calling you you're ready you kind of have your gun ready because if you're not ready it's really hard to throw the paddle down grab the gun and then shoot by then you know they might be out at 40 yards depending on how skittish they are but i smoked them i feel like it's funny because i feel like i put a little lead on him and he was pretty close so let's keep going if i just get that one bird right there i'm happy all right guys i want to check that corner to see if there was ducks around there and I was wondering if that was a bad idea. If I would have hugged this side, those keys would have never known I'm there. But they didn't look spooked, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna hug this side and come around. He's right there. There's a big group. This is gonna be interesting. There's no way I didn't hit one. Uh, no way. You gotta be kidding me. How? Oh my word. Dog on it. There's no way. I know I flock shooted, I just shot into the group. Probably stupid. There's no way I shouldn't have knocked one down. I cannot. That literally about gave me a heart attack when I come around that corner. I knew there was a couple. I had no idea it was a whole family. And they weren't even scared at first. Literally not until I grabbed my gun. I'm an idiot. Idiot! Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, I did get one. Yes! 
I knew there was no way I didn't get one. But pick one out and aim. That was the, where I made my mistake. One goose, boys. This is turning out to be awesome. Come around that corner, and my good grief. My heart literally pounded through my chest right there. I knew I hit one. I was like, I know I flock shoot, which was the biggest mistake you can ever make. Come around the corner, you guys seen. I'll just roll, go over real quick. You guys obviously already just seen it. I sneak up to the edge because I seen one sticking out, and I'm thinking there's two or three over there, right? So I hug this bank in the kayak, and I'm paddling down the side. I go, okay, I'm thinking in my mind, do I just paddle super fast? That way, when I, I come around the corner, I'm moving towards them quicker, and then shoot them when they jump? Or do I sneak as quiet as I can and then barely poke out and shoot them? Well, I did option B and sneak out, and I think I would have been better off paddling super hard. But the problem was I knew everything was going to be shot off to my right, which you can only turn so far in a kayak. Well, then the next mistake I made, as you see in the shot cam probably, is I just shot into the group. I mean, they were stacked so tight. I knew I hit one. I was like, there's no way I didn't hit one. And probably 10 yards from where I shot, there was one right here. He was His head was up, and I walked. I, I mean, I'm right on the water, basically, right here. Still in the high water mark, actually. I'm glad because I was I was literally gonna kick the dog out of myself in the next couple days. So let's keep going. This has turned out to be pretty successful, and my, I don't think I've ever really come down this late in the season. Let's keep going. Heavy hammer is doing the trick. Three inch four shot heavy hammer. I hope I got him, because if I didn't, he's going to be hard to get out of there. I was not expecting that. That is not what I was expecting. He did. I think it was both drakes. <laughs> Woo! Baby! You gotta be kidding me. I did not plan on shooting mallards. <laughs> yes! Dude! Two drakes! Stinking scotch doubled on mallards. That was a big group. Oh, dude, that gets me more pumped than anything. You gotta be kidding. Baby! Yes! Ugh. Oh, son. That's what I'm talking about. Yes! That jacks me up right there, son. That wakes me up. Oh, see, I hugged that side, thinking there might be some wood ducks down there with a stinking dozen mallards. I got that thing three over in that. Baby, baby, baby. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> yes. Uh oh. Okay, we got bigger problems to deal with here. Focus on it. Two fat green heads, baby. Just stacked around that corner. Not saying that there's not mallards down here, but very rarely you see them, and if you do, too far away. They did not know I was coming. Oh, yes. Surprised as I was, they were surprised. Oh my goodness, dude. I got four stinking birds. This is a day, baby. Until I flip right now. Please don't flip. Dude. Yes, yes, yes. Mm. I cannot believe this. I literally cannot believe this. You're like, why? Why are you getting so pumped in mallards? I don't think I have shot a mallard down here, guys. I I, I come around that corner. So 
here's the thing, this is what I do. And this is from lots of mistakes and lessons. When you're coming around a corner, say that's making a right turn, I will hug the right side. That way, if there's something around there, when you come around, they're basically as surprised as you are. Which, one thing I would say about jump shooting on a river will get your heart rate up every single time because you're just kind of casually going along. It's quiet. There's no one, you know, you feel like you're in your own world. And all of a sudden, you come around a corner and just birds are... And it's just like your heart sinks through your chest. I almost shot, just pull up shot and never aimed. If something clicked in my head, aim. And I aim, I picked one out, which by that time it's getting farther away. And that's why it's so tough shooting out of a, like jump shooting out of a kayak, like coming around corners like that. For that reason, they, by the time you really pick one out, they're farther away if they're going away. But I picked one out and it stinking, I scotch doubled on Drake Mouth. I thought one of them was him, I didn't even care. But two, baby. And then check out the markings on this one. It's almost like he's getting old. Like, look at this one. Look at that. It's almost like, it's got like, it's like it's getting the markings of a hen. There's nothing else weird about it. Let me see. Yeah, everything else is the same. Oh my goodness. That pumped me up. Two trick mounts. Thomas is gonna, he's gonna freak out. Thomas is gonna freak out. I mean, we always talk about wood ducks. I miss bird. But we never think about, I mean, look how much bigger this one with the hen markings on his chest is, how much bigger, and oh, he's way heavier too. Look at the, the size difference. I mean, it's not an unbelievably difference, but it's a pretty good solid different. <sighs> This might be a good time to relax and just say, hey, check out our merch. If you haven't seen our merch, go to midvalleyand.com. I'm wearing actually one of our hoodies right now. We're getting close to being sold out of these, but we got a bunch of other ones. And then obviously our hats. And I think we're sold out of those too, but we got a bunch of other camo colors. But anyways, just throwing that in there. Son, the old rig is getting it done. Dude, pumped. This is good. This is awesome. I might be having to come down here more in later season. I've been seeing a lot of birds cross over the river too, looking for spots and marking spots on Onyx that I might want to set up in. Here's the ticket though. This is a, a midweek day. If you would come out here on a Saturday, don't expect this because guys are out here fishing, other guys are hunting, and if they get in front of you, like I said, kiss it goodbye because everything that I've jumped would have already been jumped and you wouldn't see a one bird. So if you can get out in midweek or you got some off days at work, that's the middle of the week, I would highly suggest going down to your river. That's when you can get the most birds. So let's, let's keep going, pumped. Thomas actually shot a band down here on a, a hen wood duck. I actually mounted that myself. I'll show you a little clip of that. And Travis did the drake. We did it on a nice little mount. We'll have to show you Thomas's collection here soon. But anyways, I know there's some more good spots up here. So let's see. What a day. What a day to be on the river where you feel like you're in your own world and to shoot two Drake Mallards, a Drake Wood Duck, and a Honker. I mean, like, I never expected that when I came out here. So stoked. Ah, that feels good, honestly. This is the best probably river hunt I've had down here. Um, I did miss another opportunity with the Mallard. Um, Drake Mallard and a hen were around a corner. I wasn't quite ready. I didn't think they were gonna jump quite then and I didn't have my gun ready. But other than that, I got what I had a chance at, and that just, Scotch doubling on those mallards just made my day. Like, three is a pile, but four just looks really good. So, I still had my kicks, high flyer, full choke on my gun. I had the shot cam on. I, hopefully, I got those shots. Shooting my Browning A5, and I got a couple different angles with the GoPros and the uh, front facing and the head mount. So, anyways, my ride is waiting on me, my beautiful wife, and she is wanting me to hurry up. So, I need to get going, but don't tell her I'm doing this, but... This calls for a celebration. She's just gonna have to give me a second because when you do that and have that successful of a hunt, you gotta whip out the dew. Here's to a great hunt and good times, boys. Ah, Hit the thumbs up if you like these river hunts. I'll maybe try to do another one before season's over. And uh, I know you guys like these. I like them, they're fun to make. Great scenery. Um, hit the thumbs up, please help us out and subscribe. Appreciate every single person that hits that subscribe button and it's free. It doesn't cost you anything. 
just hit the button and every time we do a video it'll pop up in your subscription feed and you'll get to watch the videos that we put out all season long hope you have a good one we'll see you on the next one